um, my lover one. Mine is a glitch, and sorry if the audio sounds pretty wonky. I'm using a very cheap microphone that is for the phone and whatnot. I'm making this video, oh, excuse me, really early in the morning for a friend of mine on showing them how to increase their power in this game. I know that some people also have trouble with it too as well, so I guess this slight video tutorial should be able to help you guys out. And I know I said I wouldn't really be making more videos in relation to mobile games, but this is an exception just because I'm trying to show my friends how to progress through this game, and hopefully they can um, progress through it as well. You know, I'm level 88, so I'm obviously going to be overpowered in a way like this, but it's a very simple process on how to even become this powerful. One of the things I can tell you right now, dive skipping and completing the daily missions is your safest key. Like, every day, when you log into the game, the first thing you want to do, you want to go into lab, and you want to go into the items. You'll have the ability to collect 80 every time and collect this mystery box every time. You know, I have over 3,000 um, of these energies, so I can do quite a lot of missions. And also, when you do set daily missions, you can get ones that give you experience points and you can get one that even gives you more of those um, cans. Like these ones right here. That's that's a plus 80. That's a plus 80. That's a plus 80. That's a plus 80. Like, you, you get the idea. Do these daily missions and you're able to complete it. So, how do you do about these daily missions? This is my, at least, quotation marks, um, go through, rundown of it. So, like I said, dive skip is your key. So, you would click on dive and you click on story. I am on hard right now on 7.2, but in normal, I'm actually all the way in stage 9, trying to get into stage 10. To unlock stage 10, you need to beat all of stage 7 in hard mode. But you basically go to a stage, any stage really. So materials given to you in normal stages will level up your weapons. Materials given to you in hard most stages will level up your um, your dive your drive characters. Um, I mean, not drive characters. Your 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 chip characters. That's how that works. Just wanted to get that out of the way, just in case if you're looking for specific materials, if you're trying to level up your chips. Do hard mode dive skips. If you're doing level up your weapons, do normal mode dive skips. You can dive skip on any stage, you'll get the exact same amount of experience points. It's just these special materials here is what you're mainly looking for when crafting stuff when it comes to the uh, laboratory, which I can go explain that in a different type of video. We're just more or less trying to progress your character's total power. So to do that, you will click on any story stage. In this instance, let's just do stage normal for um, 7.2. And you'll just press dive skip 10 times. Well, dive skip times 10, I mean. That skips the stage 10 times, and you have already completed a bunch of missions right now. Just by doing that. But we're not done. You want to go to events. And you'll have these events that you can do daily. Normally, I would like to complete any of these four stages in the hardest difficulty you can complete at that at, at your current level. And once you're able to do so, you just press dive skip, do it twice, and there you go. You will get your daily rewards for that specific mission throughout your time playing this game. You will constantly get more of these um, dive skip tickets um, programs, so don't worry about if you're having to waste all of them or not. But if you are very picky on which ones you should be spending most of your materials on, I would say using your materials to dive skip this stage 
and to dive skip this stage since this one can upgrade your dive triggers and these ones specifically help you upgrade your armors when you're able to collect bigger armor parts. Which can also bring me into the armor set itself. So clicking on co-op will unlock your armor stages. When you're level 20, then 25, then 30, then 35, you're able to progress and get stronger armors. One of my friends right now, they're level 40 and I see they're rocking level 20 armor. Well, if you just do these missions every day, twice a day, you will constantly get more of these um, armor parts, screws, that are able to help you build armors. Also completing these missions too as well and getting a 3 star on the set mission will help you get these different pieces to begin with. You know, stage 1, stage 1 of a completed area will always give you the top half of your armor and stage 2 will always give you the bottom half of your armor. That's just how that part works. When you have collected your armors, you will click over here. As you can see, I have pretty high stat armor. You can go to combine armors to create the different armor sets you want to make. Since my friend, for an example, is level 40, um, they'll have the ability to create level 40 armor sets. Make sure you have enough screws or you won't be able to actually create the armor. Select the armor of choice you want to create and then press start. It will create set armor for you. I can show you an example of that by... Well, I'm not too worried about these taking up all my space, so let me go ahead and show you an example. You can just press start on just let's say the helmet part, would you like to consume, press yes, you have created armor parts right there. Those additional armor parts will show up here, and you're able to change it out for that armor part right there. But as you can see, this armor is extremely weak compared to my other armor, so I'm just going to go back to the armor that I am currently using. I just really want to make sure I have this tutorial video out for people, just so they kind of know how to do it. I mean, other people have done it better than I have, but you never know. Completing some other daily missions too as well. First of all, they involve the story missions. Make sure you just do one dive skip times 10 on a story mission. Then you can go to events, do a, sky, a dive skip on these two missions more specifically to get those materials to level up yourself. Obviously, once you have the materials, you can go to armors and start crafting some armors. And when it comes to doing co-op stages yourself, do two co-op stages. Doing those two co-op stages will actually complete more daily missions. So I won't be able to get all the daily missions since I'm not gonna actually do any missions in this video. Also, challenge mode. When you get a high enough level, you're able to challenge these different bosses. Once you have done a three star on these bosses, you're actually able to do a thing called a phase skip. You can select how many bosses you want to complete. In this case, I'm going to max out and I'm going to skip everything. It's going to cost 540, but like I said, I have over 3000, so I'm able to do this quite efficiently. Just wait a couple of seconds and you will get all the materials from it, all the EXP, all of the chips, all of the <laughs> money, whatever you whatever you want. Just you get a bunch of crap just doing this. And as you can see, I'm already really close to leveling up right now. So there is another mission or another um, daily mission that says just do a capsule. If you're able to do a daily free capsule, I always just go to this trusty one right over here. Do that daily capsule there. That's your daily multi for the missions here. It also says do a couple of lab stuff. Just to give you guys a short example, if you have the materials for it, just create it right there. And then doing those researches will also complete more daily missions as well. But like I said from before, I'm really close to leveling up. This is like the main key I've used to level up every time. If you just press collect all and just get all these missions here, I got that 580 back when I used 540 to dive skip 
all of those challenge stages. You know, that's why I said doing these daily missions is so beneficial to leveling up yourself as a character. And look at that. I leveled up again. I am now 89. I'm about to become level 90 very soon. Just, if you know how to play this game for free, you can do a lot of stuff. The last thing I want to get into is, um, you go to character, not character, lab, skills. You'll have these dive skills. When you do, um, this in particular mission, you will gain these things here. That can be used to level up, click on lab and go to skills. These in particular, um, uh, abilities you can use throughout the levels. You're given this at first and you upgrade it up to its max. When you upgrade it to its max and make sure you always level the things up to their maximum because you won't be able to unlock these other ones until this is maxed out first. Right now, I'm already down the food chain to where I'm on this one. This one's also unlocked for some reason, but I'm working on this one right now. So I would just literally level it up. And look at that. I've gained an extra 424. Just by leveling up twice. If you do this mission every day and like forget that you're doing this mission every day, you'll have a bunch of these uh, learning systems just at your disposal. You're able to level like those things up a bunch of times here and gain like 5,000 more power just to your character's level. You can also collect chips to help upgrade them too as well. Um, that's kind of it for how you can level up yourself in this game. Like, other basic things is, like, making sure your weapons are max level, too. I like to level up my weapons five levels at a time, so I actually won't level them up until I'm level 90. And when you do your missions and stuff, you can, for an example, this gun here. You can also upgrade all these other things here to whatever you might need them to. Because that is like that. We're just going to go ahead and quickly upgrade this all the way. Upgrade that all the way. And upgrade this all the way. Oh, I did it one at a time. Okay. I only had enough to do it that many times anyway, but it's perfectly fine. Even just doing, my, even just doing that can just help you a lot when it comes to getting stronger in this game so hopefully that explains everything um also for if anyone that has any friends and whatnot you can also just give them ap as well that's another daily mission right there <laughs> like really isn't a whole lot more I can kind of go along with this. So I'm just going to go on ahead and end it here. And with this, without further ado, my name is Adam Glitch, and I'm signing out. I hope you all have a fantastic night, and I'll see you the next dimension.